Stampin' Friends. It's Marilyn Wagner with Stamping Creations with Marilyn. Once again, I have some stamping techniques to show you. I have recently done a Christmas card class, so I am quite pleased with all of the, the results of the cards that, that we had done. So I would like to show you this particular one. It is done with the Peaceful Noel stamp set new in the holiday catalog this year. As you can see, it has a few different colors on it, and I did this one just a little bit different with the fold on it. The stamp set comes with 18 different stamps. Some of them are two-step, some of them you can use individually, some really nice words on them. And I've also used the text, the tufted dynamic impression plate. To me it looks like quilting. So I will get started and show you a couple of the stamping things I did. In order to get the design around there, there was no specific way that I did it. I just stamped randomly. First of all, with the lightest color in kind of a circle somewhere near the center so that you could lay your greeting over and have it still show this from the background. I then used Mary Merlot, which is the color at the, of the second layer. And for the open leaves, I didn't stamp off. I just stamped again kind of in a random, but filling in the, the empty spots. And then when I came to using this particular stamp, it's a little bit more filled in. I did stamp off with it because I wanted it to be just a little bit lighter. So that technique, if you haven't heard of it, is just ink it stamp off on a scrap piece of paper and then stamp and it's not as dark as the the one that isn't stamped off and then for the little bit of green which is tranquil tide i used the the spruce branch and just tucked it in where i wanted a pop of color again no rhyme nor reason and some of it will show, some of it may not. And that's basically the stamping. The only other thing that was stamped was the greeting <coughs> on the outside here. And, oh, and the inside of it. I did stamp that green, as you can see, just a little bit there to kind of tie it all together. When I do the greetings like this, and I'm doing a number of them, I use my framelit that I'm going to cut it out with as a guide. So I lay it there and then I would move it this far away to stamp the next one so that I know I'm going to have room and not be cutting into each one when I go to make a number of them. This works with most stamps as long as they're not too close to the edge and that they would get caught up on that. So that will then be cut out with the Big Shot. <clears throat> the stamped image that we just did, sorry for the crashing here, this one will be run through the tufted embossing folder and it, this one I've done already, kind of in the dark here, comes out, you can see the tufting, the quilting kind of image on it. Lots of times on these little dots I will put uh, pearls, rhinestones, just makes it pop just that little bit extra. Okay, Stampin' Friends, I am back and I have cut out the greeting. I do have a couple of glue dots on the back. I am going to trim my ribbon with the V and I find it easiest if I take it before I put it on the back of the greeting fold it in half and using a good pair of ribbon scissors, which I happen to have here, just cut it and you see you can get <coughs> a 
a, uh, most of the time you can get a perfect V for your ribbon. Of course, it's always a challenge to make sure you get, you're cutting it at the right angle. So you have a, a V going like that, not the other way. This ribbon is copper on one side, Mary Merlot on the other side. So you can put whichever side you like. I like to put the glue dots on there and attach my ribbon to the greeting. <coughs> then I will use dimensionals <coughs> to attach it to the front of the card. Just like I have this already run through the big shot as we see and then dimensionals on the back. Line it up and attach it. Same thing here. And place my greeting. Hmm. See that I could have had a little bit more green over here, but part of this as well, as you can see, is the glimmer paper that is new in the holiday catalog with the sprig punch. really see that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I have put liquid glue on the back of there, the mono, and let it dry a little bit so it acts like a glue dot, and then I will just tuck it under my greeting, and it will add the pop of color that I didn't stamp. You could put it here, you could put it here, here, wherever you choose. For this particular one, that's what I choose, and there is my card all ready for you to write on the inside and send off to family and friends. I also, because I do mail 90% of my cards, I try to add something on the envelope to match the cards. So that particular one would be done like that and all ready to go. Now for just a couple other tips and tricks to share with you, I want to show you what I ended up with on the glimmer paper at the end, of course, is after punching out lots and lots of sprigs for my cards, I had this left and one of the gals at my class said, oh, can I use it, can I use it? We had made the reindeer card, which I will be doing a, a video on shortly, and she punched out the bow ties out of this and attached them under his neck for the male one and above the between the antlers for a female one so it always helps to um, just hang on to these little pieces of paper you never know when you might be able to use them so when I do my card classes I always make sure I've got lots of extra paper for the the gals who come and in the end when they don't need to use it I end up getting my cards for Christmas for me started so as you can see, I'm well on my way with this set. And I have some that I've swapped from other events made with this same stamp set. So I'd like to share them with you. You can see many different designs, designer paper, some with not using Mary Merlot, just different colors. This is the shimmer paint that's back in the catalog. And here's another one with lots of the little glimmer um, embossing, no, not embossing thread, just the twine, the threads. Found out an easy way to use that is to stick it to your glue dot first and then put it on your card instead of trying to handle all those pieces of, of uh, the fine, fine wire. So Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, Marilyn Wagner signing off.